Srikanth in front of you okay to discuss a very important topic called as hypodontia okay so most of us are familiar and by seeing the clinical cases or the clinical findings in front of you you can see there are some missing teeth over in this particular area okay so this missing teeth okay you can conclude these cases or this condition as a hypodontia okay as a hypodontia so first of all what are the other terms that you can give for hypodontia is true partial anodontia and one is oligodontia okay i hope you 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 know the uh, differences of each and everything okay the next most commonly asked question is the most common missing teeth most common missing teeth is your third molars and if you go into your shafers and just read a line okay uh, the line clearly says that the studies on the frequency of missing teeth were done and it was showing that third molars are most commonly missing teeth in many of the cases and there are few other studies telling that the other missing teeth can be your maxillary laterals mandibular premolars and the maxillary premolars okay so now the question raises if they ask a question basing upon the sequence what is the sequence of missing teeth the sequence of missing teeth is as following third molars okay followed by third molars the next teeth that misses most commonly is the mandibular premolar followed by mandibular premolar then is the maxillary lateral incisor followed by the maxillary premolar i hope you are very clear with this sequence this sequence is most commonly asked okay third molar followed by mandibular premolar followed by maxillary lateral followed by the maxillary premolar this is the order of sequence that you have to make a note okay until now we are discussing primarily about the permanent teeth now the question is on the deciduous teeth that is the primary teeth the most commonly missing primary teeth the answer is maxillary lateral okay so don't get confused see in the question and they're asking missing teeth see whether they're asking a permanent missing teeth or a primary missing teeth if they are not specifying whether it's a primary or a permanent then it is they're asking the permanent missing teeth okay so this is a very very important that you have to make a note okay and uh, the next important thing in front of you is name the syndromes or the disorders or the conditions in which you can find hypodontia means less number less than the normal teeth less than the normal number of teeth okay please do drop this in your comment box okay please do drop this in your comment box i'll be posting the answer in your comment box okay the question is name the syndromes or the disorders or the conditions with less than the normal number of teeth you call me a saint but you know i'm a stranger or will